everyone welcome back to the channel in the last videos we explored the basics of geometry nodes in blender if you missed it i highly recommend checking it out first because today we are going one step further in this tutorial i'm going to create a super easy cage like grid using blender nodes and by the end you'll have something that that you can easily tweak and customize however you like First thing first, let's add a base mesh. For that, press Shift A, go to Mesh, and select UV Sphere. Uh, you can choose a different starting shape like a cube, cylinder, or, or any other shape, or any other mesh from here. The overall procedure will still work, but the final look of the wireframe cage will change. Let's say you are going for a different mesh. All the steps I'm going to apply here will be same. Keep in mind. The shape of the cage will follow the structure of the base mesh. So why I choose a UV sphere is because it, it, it gives a very smooth, evenly spaced wires. And uh, if you go for a cube, it would give you a very angular wire frame. And uh, a cylinder would create a long vertical loops with fewer horizontal ones. Likewise, an isosphere, it would give you a different pattern wire cage. Now, now let's open that geometry node editor you can find it in the editor type menu at the top once you're there hit n to hide the side panel just to give yourself a bit more space to work and uh, next click new and now you'll see two familiar nodes group input and group output next let's add a transform geometry node just press shift a search for transform and drop it in okay so after that we need to apply a subdivision modifier press shift a search for subdivision surface and connect it between the transform node and group output node uh, we can increase or decrease the subdivision level here if we increase the level it will make the surface more more smoother for example let's say we, we increase the level to 2 the surface becomes more smoother so let's say we are happy with that value right now as you can see our sphere is just a regular mesh press shift a search for mesh to curve and add it in a mesh is made of faces edges and vertices but if you want a wireframe like structure, I mean just the edges. So what a mesh tutorial does, it extracts only the edges of the mesh and turns them into curves. Think of it like tracing the outline of your mesh. Or you can think of mesh removing just the walls of a building and keeping only the blueprint lines. Now we have a clean wire outline instead of a full mesh with faces. But, but here's an important thing to know. A curve is just a track. It is like a line drawn in space. Curves do not render as solid objects because they have no thickness. To make a curve visible in the render, we need to give it some geometry. And uh, this thin wire uh, want it even finer. You can go down to 0 0.001 or even 0 0.0009. Now it looks like a proper wireframe cage. Alright, let's add some color to make it pop. First, select your sphere, go to the material properties tab and click new to create a new material. Click plus sign here and select new to create a new material slot and give it any color you like. See, I'll give it a nice pinkish purple look. Now back in Geometry Node Editor, press Shift A and search for Set Material. Place it at the very end of your node setter after the curved mesh node and select the material you just created. If you don't see the color, don't panic. You'll probably still in solid mode. Switch to Material Preview Mode or Rendered View and there it is. 
by Bullard by Frank Cage. And there you go. We started with a UV sphere, subdivided it, converted it into a curve, gave it thickness using a curved circle, and finally applied a material. All procedurally using geometry notes. Found this helpful? Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what else you would like to learn.